how can we automate an audit using CIS Benchmark? So CIS Benchmark is a pretty standard and pretty common in the IT industry and define all the best practices that we can adapt in the most well-known cloud provider, desktop software, DevSecOps tools, mobile devices, multifunctional print devices, network service, operating system and service software. As you can see from the website, the list is pretty long and comprehensive of the most well-known technologies nowadays. Let me focus on the Red Hat Enterprise Linux and as you can see is available for the latest release, for example, Enterprise Linux 9, 8, 7 and so on and so forth. It, this is very important because when you meet this benchmark, you are able to actually send that your system is uh, uh, secure and you are implementing the right hardening. So basically we set uh, like a, a line. Uh, on the website uh, uh, there is the paywall. Now this is simple registration to get access to all this information. You just need to register and then you have access to all the recent documents. As you can see these are PDF that and define all the guidelines of these documents and there are so many you can check it out all the most common server in my case i'm focusing on the latest cis red hat enterprise linux 9 benchmark version 1.0 well let me jump directly to the point this uh, benchmark is very interesting and very informative and as you can see there are more than nearly 800 pages with a lot of things to do so for is very interesting because each uh, each definition has a specific number so 1.1.1.1 with uh, um, also ensure with a description ensure mounting or squash fs file system is disabled and there is a clear explanation about what is going to be audited and as you can see there is a bash script and also a remediation that you can actually use from day one to your server so somebody has a nice idea because this is a very long document as you can see and you can't imagine to actually do it manually and repeating step after step after step everything or this configuration and some of this configuration depends if you have a ui if you have some service so basically this is a very specific document but it could take years to implement because can you imagine running manually all this command on your bash so somebody has a nice idea why not automating with ansible and here we are i met my friend Mark Bolwell that is working on the Ansible Lockdown project for MinePoint Group. So basically this is uh, an open source uh, product that is able to run an audit on your system based on some benchmark. As you can see we are maintaining benchmark for the most well-known uh, operating system and cloud platform and everything are actually some Ansible code where we can execute and check it out on our system. I think this is great things because we can check it out the baseline of a CIS project on our system. We are focusing obviously on the RHEL 9 CIS and as you can see we have observability because we can go directly to the GitHub repository and see what the Ansible code is actually doing. This is very, very great because we can evaluate a different type of uh, system. But the newest part is what uh, we are going to dip down in this, uh, in, in this uh, state, that we are going to do a CIS audit. So what we are doing is actually running the gross uh, that is a, a great system that is going to audit our system and create a report. I think this is a great tool for every system administrator for actually audit our system. The previous playbook was actually doing the remediation, so was taking action also to solve the problem. This is only doing the, uh, the audit of our system. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, guys, first of all, we need uh, a 
Red Hat Enterprise Linux system successfully installed in my case. Here we go. Uh, let me log in with my Luca user and this is the main UI of Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9. I decided to go for the UI but it will be the same if you have a server only with only the terminal. As you can see this is the latest 9.2 on a 64-bit uh, uh, VMware infrastructure. So this is pretty common setup for most of you. Now let's see how we can automate our audit with Ansible. Now let's get our hands dirty. Stick to the Ansible editor and let's write our Ansible playbook. First of all, let's give it a name, ran 9 cis audit. And now let's define the target host, in my case, host all on my inventory. And what else do I need? Well, do I need privilege escalation? So this code needs to be executed as a root user. Uh, so let me enable true. And we are not having any task because we are going to use the role rel 9cis Let me define some variables. These variables are important, otherwise it's going to execute the remediation playbook. We just need the audit, so setup underscore audit true and run underscore audit true. In this way, we are going to run the GOSS tool to actually report the status of the system. And here we go, easy peasy. Now we are ready, just making sure that the rel 9 cis role is present in our system. So from the Ansible Lockdown website, go directly to the GitHub repository and copy this URL. Now we are ready to jump on the terminal. Welcome on my terminal. So I already have installed Ansible in my system. So the Ansible Dex Galaxy utility is successfully available in my system. So what I can do, uh, Ansible Galaxy rows, install git plus and let me paste the URL that we just got from the GitHub. So well, oh, what did I wrong? Oh, this rose is not uh, is not available. Oh yes, because it's a plural. Sorry, I need to use the singular. So let me solve it out uh, from a role. Let's delete one s, and here we go. Ansible Galaxy is successfully downloading the content and installing my system. Now, rel 9 CIS is successfully installed. We can check it out using Ansible Galaxy role list. And as you can see, there is a RHEL 9 CIS successfully installed. Unknown version, yes, but successfully installed. Now my uh, RHEL 9 CIS role is successfully installed. Let me check it out if I'm able to connect to my remote system. In my case, is uh, uh, RHEL.example.com using the user Luca. Cool, I'm able to connect. So let me check it out my inventory. This is a very basic inventory. As you can see, the only list rel.example.com and for this host, yeah, SSH using the user Luca. Cool, uh, now uh, I'm already in the directory where I was typing my Ansible playbook. As you can see, this is audit.yml, the same that we typed in our Ansible in our uh, editor. So let me execute using Ansible playbook. Let me specify dash E for the inventory file and the audit YML. So now, okay, cool. Uh, we are missing the pseudo password. This is a very common uh, behavior because uh, for moving from a normal user Luca to the root user, we need to specify the password. So let me add uh, they become uh, uh, usually it's dash key. Um, something is not. Uh, I'm not remember correctly. Usually is it, oh yes, ask become password. Yes, this is exactly what I want to want to do. So basically, oh no, it's only the wrong order. So basically, I would like Ansible to ask me the password for switching from normal user to root user. Yes, here we go. Now. Everything is uh, in charge of the role. As you can see, all these 
text is going to appear in our screen and we are going to actually execute uh, the audit on our system. It's going to take a while, it depends by uh, the um, performance of your system and also the length of this audit, but everything is in charge now on the whole and I'm so happy because it's downloading the binary, the geo, SS and uh, wow, we are performing an audit about the CIS benchmark on a fresh Red Hat Enterprise Linux uh, system. Well, this is clear, not the expected result. Uh, it seems that there is a syntax error. So what we can do in the open source community when we face an unexpected condition? Well, we try to fix ourselves uh, and when it's not possible, we report the problem to the actual maintainer. So this is me filing a bug report uh, for the actual maintainer. I was sharing all the possible information that I have here about uh, how I tested my code, uh, what is the target destination system, what is exact Python version involved, and I think that will be solved soon. Long story short, it turned out that the problem is actually the ARM64 architecture of my machine. So I was able to uh, create this workaround playbook that is simply downloading the correct architecture, so ARM64 with a right uh, fingerprint. And now I'm ready to execute. So if you're running on ARM64, be mindful that you need to add some extra line of code just to make it working. If you're running on classic uh, Intel X, uh, x86 or ARM or whatever, it will be fun on the first execution. Now, back to the console. Now let's execute again the same code. This time the execution will be smooth. As you can see, the RHEL 9 CIS template is executed and now is going to be downloaded the latest GOSS tool that is actually performing the um, analysis on the system. So the audit binary now is downloaded and this will be the right architecture for me. Yes, perfect. So now it's going to perform the preliminary audit and uh, we are good to go to execute all the other important part. In the end of execution, everything will be saved inside a JSON file and this will be great for reporting and uh, assess our system. So the performance might vary based on the performance of your system, the amount of resources available and the actual consumption. But in the end of the day, you are going to have an audit about the REL9 CIS benchmark for your system. And you, as, as you might see, everything looks familiar. So each uh, step is actually numbered with uh, each step of the CIS benchmark. So 1.1.1. 1.1.1, it was the one that we analyzed and whatever. So here we go, we are performing the benchmark and actually making our system more resilient. Wow, it feels so great that now actually we are doing all this bunch of things automatically. So basically all the 800 pages of PDF that we saw earlier, we are doing automatically with Ansible. It feels so great when automation is actually saving us time. As you can see, some of these tests are skipped because some of the resources are not available in our system. So if you don't have all the uh, UI or some uh, service running, there's no need that actually uh, performing the test. So in the end of the day, it's going to make, take a while. We don't worry about too much because we are going to see the final result. Cool. We have an audit summary and uh, we have 15 warnings that require our attention. This is great because we have all the content and the breakdown that we can find it out on uh, OPT. So let me connect to my system, in my case SSH, Luca at relexample.com and uh, let me move to the OPT directory. Okay, let's see what we have here. Yay, we have some report. Yes, I was running uh, I was running this, uh, this stuff uh, 
several time but let me take a look on the uh, report that is actually post scan so as you can see it is a very very in, uh, there is a great breakdown because this is a standard JSON file and we can see the duration and each of these uh, steps executed. I think this is great for reporting and also for audit purposes so we can store securely this result uh, and uh, check it out also the changes that are happening time over time to the machine. So I think this is a great resource if we are going to undergo the CIS benchmark on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9 and all for all the other resources. I think this is very common used and I'm so happy that uh, Ansible Lockdown and uh, the company behind this project uh, is keep going and keep maintaining this resource because frankly going manually to Performing this operation is quite difficult uh, and this is a great report uh, everything Well, we can store in our database We can use some automatic system and the end of the day. This is a JSON file So there are plenty of tool pro processing and uh, check it out the result uh, So thank you for sharing. This is a great source. Uh, let's automate more